uh, the professors in in Georgia, students in everywhere. And this one is more more more, more beautiful, like we do this way. Wow! <laughs> oh, here you are. You are too big, so I can I can adjust. <laughs> So, uh, <clears throat> my challenge is uh, listening this lecture is better than uh, watching or listening in the classroom. I if this is really true, the older paradigm of school, classroom, education uh, may be uh, slightly modified. The, the, the from because I I was uh, anyway. Uh, a victim of current education system in this on this planet I spend whole day in the class watching teachers face uh, even I didn't understand anything I have to I have to watch my brain is on other side because I couldn't understand whole day when I was senior high school junior high school even elementary school I don't know what I uh, did in the class it's kind of torture so, uh, if you change this kind of philosophy that lecturing is not very, very important as we expected, especially in Korea. So, they, maybe more than 20% is uh, physically sleeping in the classroom. They study at home, not flip learning, but they, they go to another institute, private institute to, to learn, and they take a rest in the classroom. This is what happened in Korea. Uh, university this is what's happening in medical schools here in the U.S. as well. Students quickly learn that if they go to the lectures, it's a waste of time. So what they do is they get the recordings and they form a study group mm. and a small group of students get together and they watch the lecture, and use other people's notes and so forth. Mm. And so lecture attendance in medical schools is down to around 40%. Yeah.